Hi guys, I just finished recording for Oberlin and I'm currently uploading them and it's taking forever so I thought I would just update you guys on my audition process. <laughs> Saturday, this past Saturday, I had an audition with Irvine and it was really chaotic. Yeah, to keep it short, basically they asked me to play the beginning part, most of my Bach, and a really short snippet of my Beethoven concerto. And I had a slight memory slip in the Bach, but I was able to like go back and backtrack myself so it ended up fine he didn't seem very impressed but he seemed to like the beethoven a lot better my shoulder rest fell in the middle of it and also my dad walked in in the middle of my audition and talked on accident so <laughs> that's quite a happening and also the professor kind of gives me intimidating vibes but he was really nice He's the type where like I can't really tell if he's joking or if I should take him seriously at sometimes, you know? I had a post-audition mental breakdown afterwards. Today is February 4th, February. I mean, Friday. <laughs> and I am staying home from school because I have an audition at 11.20. They only had auditions on the weekdays and this was like the latest that I could set my audition time. It's kind of a struggle, you know, like matching to Eastern time or whatever time that the school is in. Especially if you have to like wake up early. Okay. Oh my god. I'm definitely being as vulnerable as I can, am I not? <laughs> I'm literally shaking because I'm still so nervous. I had big indigestion before um, my audition. Let's get my floor, it's covered in blankets because my teacher said that makes the acoustics a lot better. That was probably the worst audition that I've ever had. I did my um, Beethoven first. I played it. I think they listened to about three pages of it and I was actually pretty proud of it. I was like, oh, my nerves are really like kicking in right now because I was expressing as much as I could. But then towards the end, I had a memory slip and then I skipped about like three lines. So yeah, that was horrifying to me. Then um, he cut me off to the cadenza because he asked for it. And I played about two thirds of that. Surprisingly, I didn't mess up too bad actually on my cadenza, but it didn't sound the best. You know what I mean? My Bach gavot, I got one wrong note. I played an E natural as an E sharp. That kind of threw me off. <laughs> And then he had me do the Paganini. This I had a huge memory slip on. It was horrendous. Like, all of a sudden my fingers went berserk. And then like I did not know what came next. But anyway, that was the end of the audition. They didn't listen to my adagio and they did not ask for scales, which I'm thankful for. But still, remember I like was saying I had a trial lesson with my first choice professor there. I wish I could talk to someone in the middle of my piece like after they cut me off I like stole a glance at her and her expression seemed so like disappointed and I know Eastman is so prestigious and so competitive things are not working out for me also I was shaking all throughout the audition and I have really bad like physical side effects of getting nervous but I felt like projectile vomiting in the middle of my audition so it was really hard like keeping that impulse like inside and yeah that was my audition with Eastman <laughs> Just about ready for my interview with UCLA. It's two minutes before. I think I'm the first interview for today, so I'm a little bit nervous. Hi guys. Today is today is the 13th of February, and I just finished all of my auditions yesterday. 
Um, I had my last one with Cincinnati yesterday. That was the first and last audition that I did not have a memory slip in. Even though it wasn't great though, I was satisfied or like I wasn't satisfied but I was relieved that I didn't make a huge mistake. And the professor seemed really friendly there and literally for half of my audition it was so chaotic that I forgot to turn on my original sound. That was embarrassing. Right after my audition, I had to go to work and so the whole thing was so chaotic I was so full of adrenaline and so like drained from my audition itself that I like went into work and I was like Shaking, but anyway after I came back from work. There was an email from Professor Yim. He emailed me and said I played beautifully at the audition and I was like Oh my gosh, or like I was really happy, but yeah, that made me a little bit more assured and also recap on my audition. None of the schools I auditioned for asked for skills during the audition, but a lot of them like re require you to like know them just in case, you know, they ask for them during the auditions. I think it's not common, but they might still ask. I prepared five pieces and I only ever got asked to play the Beethoven Concerto. I played the Beethoven Concerto a lot. Bach, Gavo, and Rondo. The Paganini Caprice number 20, which I played almost the complete thing for almost all of my auditions. And for Beethoven, usually they would ask for part of the cadenza and the beginning little section. I never got asked to play the Mozart or the Bach Adagio, which is strange. That's that. And I'm finally done with auditions. I think like this whole like audition process like me documenting it it's going to give me a lot to reflect back on and look back on but also i think it's also really educational for people that do want to major in music in the future that's you know half of the reason why i'm doing this um because there's really not a lot of information out there there's you don't have like personal people's personal experiences you know and i think that's such a disappointing thing because we're also curious about what goes on during the audition process. I think it's valuable to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>